This video describes the topology, restrictions, limitations, and an overview of steps involved in configuring multicast DNS or MDNS on Cisco Wireless Controller or Cisco WLC. MDNS supports zero configuration and uses multicast IP address 224.0.0.251 as the destination address and 5353 as the user datagram protocol destination port address. MDNS Service Discovery Protocol provides the ability for wireless clients to access Apple services such as Apple Printer, Apple TV and so on which are advertised on a Layer 3 network. First, Cisco WLC checks for available Bonjour services such as AirPrint, AirPlay and so on. Cisco WLC then caches the Bonjour services or advertisements from the host periodically. You can configure a service to filter inbound traffic based on its origin that is either wired or wireless. All the services that are learned from an MDNS AP are treated as wired. The location-specific services filtering applies only to wireless entries. Cisco WLC listens to any of the client queries requesting for services. Bonjour Service Profile provides filtering to allow only certain WLANs, interfaces or interface groups to access specific service types. The highest priority is given to the profiles associated with interface groups which is followed by interfaces and then WLANs. Cisco WLC sends unicast response to the client queries for Bonjour services. To configure MDNS on Cisco WLC, ensure the following prerequisites for Apple devices are met. In a Layer 2 network, if Apple servers and clients are in the same subnet, MDNS snooping is not required on Cisco WLC. However, whether or not MDNS snooping is required is dependent on the switching network. If you use switches that do not work as expected with MDNS snooping, you must enable MDNS on Cisco WLC. Apple devices such as iPads and iPhones can discover Apple TV only through Bluetooth. Because Apple TVs are not supported in MDNS access policies, we recommend that you disable Bluetooth on Apple TVs. These are the limitations for configuring MDNS on Cisco WLC. MDNS over IPv6 is not supported. In locally switched WLANs and mesh access points, MDNS is not supported on access points in FlexConnect mode. MDNS is not supported on remote LANs. The MDNS AP feature is not supported in Cisco AP1240 and Cisco AP1130. Configuring a third-party MDNS server on Cisco WLC is not supported. These are the tasks that you should perform for MDNS configuration. For ease of use and better understanding, each of these steps are described in individual videos which together comprise a series. Configuring an MDNS profile on Cisco WLC, mapping an MDNS profile to a WLAN, verifying the Bonjour Gateway operations. This video explains how to configure an MDNS profile on Cisco WLC. For more information about the components required, the limitations that exist, and the prerequisites, refer to the video titled before you begin. To configure MDNS, the following components are required. Cisco Wireless Controller Release 7.4 or later, Cisco Access Point or AP, Bonjour Enable Devices, a switch to connect Cisco WLC to an AP. In the Cisco WLC Web UI top menu, click the Controller tab. In the left navigation pane, click MDNS and then General. In the MDNS window that is displayed, check the MDNS Global Snooping checkbox to enable snooping of MDNS packets. By default, the query interval at which Cisco WLC queries for a service is 15 minutes. The Master Services Database area 
lists the default profiles that are pre-configured. Cisco WLC snoops and learns about MDNS service advertisements only if the service is present in the master service list database. Cisco WLC can snoop and learn about 64 different databases. Therefore, a maximum of 64 services can be included in the master service list database. Make sure that the default profile list has all the services you want. If not, you can create a new profile list with the MDNS services of your choice. To add the desired Bonjour services from the default profile list for Cisco WLC to Snoop, choose a service from the Select Service drop-down list. Check the Query Status checkbox to enable an MDNS query for the services you selected. Click Add and then click Apply. To create a new profile list with the MDNS supported services, choose Other from the Select Service drop-down list. In the Service Name field, enter the Service Name. In the Service String field, enter the Service String. Check the Query Status checkbox to enable an MDNS query for a service. Click Add and then click Apply. In the left navigation pane, click MDNS and then Profiles to verify if the WLAN has at least one MDNS profile configured. The default MDNS profile is pre-configured with all the default Bonjour services. If the requirement is to use the default services, assign the default MDNS profile to the WLAN on which you want to enable the MDNS service. Otherwise, you can select any other profile list that you have created and then attach it to the WLAN. Note that you can enable only one MDNS profile per WLAN. This completes the configuration of an MDNS profile on Cisco WLC. This video shows you how to map a multicast DNS or MDNS profile to a WLAN. In the Cisco WLC Web UI top menu, click the WLANs tab. In the left navigation pane, click WLANs and again WLANs. In the WLANs window that is displayed, in the WLAN ID column, check the checkbox adjacent to the WLAN ID to which you want to map an MDNS. In the WLAN's Edit Web Auth window that is displayed, click the Advanced tab. By default, MDNS snooping is enabled. If it is not, check the MDNS snooping checkbox. From the MDNS Profile drop-down list, choose the profile name. Click Apply on the top right corner. This completes the task of mapping an MDNS profile to a WLAN. This video shows you how to verify MDNS gateway operations. First, check which of the Bonjour services are running. To do that, in the Cisco WLC Web UI top menu, click the Controller tab. In the left navigation pane, click MDNS and then Domain Names. In this example, you can see that Apple TV is being displayed as a wireless medium. The next step is to verify the Apple client device. Make sure that the Apple device is connected to the client SSID. On your Apple TV, make sure that AirPlay is turned on. If it is not turned on, go to Settings, select AirPlay and click On using the Apple TV remote for the monitor. On your Apple device, swipe upwards from the bottom of your screen to access Control Center and then tap the AirPlay icon. Tap the name of the device you want to stream content to and turn the mirroring feature to ON. In this example, we are selecting Apple TV from the list of devices since we are streaming to Apple TV. You will now see the entire screen of your Apple device on the monitor that is connected to your Apple TV. 
This completes the task of verifying Bonjour or MDNS gateway operations.